Hey there, Jordan here with FlexiJet and I'm going to show you how simple it is with the features of the FlexiJet to measure a kitchen and uh, do a couple little verification steps along the way. I'll open up FlexiJet Stone software here on the computer. And so now that I've got this opened, I'm going to auto level the machines here. So just one click on that, I'll set a new reference before a new drawing here. So I've done that. Uh, now that I've got that leveled off, uh, I want to get to measuring here, and to do that, I want to start a countertop here, and I'm going to call this countertop, countertop. So the unit's now asking me to measure a point on the countertop. This is going to set my horizontal plane. So any point on the top of the cabinets there, we'll take that. From there, I can select multiple lines. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start on this panel on the outside here, take a point on either side of it. It doesn't matter which direction I go. I'm going to take two points on the front of this panel, I just like to have a reference so that I know what's a panel, uh, so I know where the, the front of that panel stops. I, if we're looking at this later in the shop, I know that for sure I've covered that. I'm going to take two points on the fillers here, two points on the fillers on the other side. I'll just go back here too, I can take two points as well just to show me where the side panel is as well. Kind of a useful thing to know. It's not critical, but uh, nice to see that when we put our stove opening together, we've got it in the right place. I'll take a point on the front there, another point on the uh, on the other side of this cabinet here. As we do this, the model is building on our screen here. Again, two points on this uh, on this finish panel here. And I'll take uh, two points on the front of this panel here as well. Laser has no problem with the uh, with the tight angles like this. So I've got that model put together there pretty nicely. Now I want to scribe this back wall. So I'll select the line command here on the back of uh, on the on the unit, and I'm going to start at the left side here. Just visually looking at this wall, it's pretty good. So I'm going to take points every six or eight inches, rough, roughly. That should give us more than enough data to scribe from there. So working our way along, just aiming the unit by hand as I go. And I can go right through the stove opening here in case they end up adding a stove bar or a bridge afterwards. And I've got the described data should I, should I want to scribe that piece to the wall. Just working my way along the wall here. And we'll take another point there. And one more right in the corner. Not quite in the corner, but uh, about a half inch from it there. So I'll cancel over that command there. As you can see on the software here, we're all put together. What I'd like to do here is I would like to align this so that I'm looking at it a little bit straighter. Uh, there we go. Now my next step is going to be to connect these endpoints here. Uh, I want a straight line across either side of the stove cutout here. So I'm going to draw a line from left there to the right there. That's good to go. I'm just going to make sure we're aligned on that line there. That's going to make the front of my countertop. I'm going to offset that. I like to do 1.875 or 1 and 7 eighths there. So I've taken that line, offset it through there, confirm that, take this line here, delete it, I no longer need it. To find the center of my stove here, I'm going to go right between these two, right at the center points, and then pull center and up. This line here is no longer needed, so I'm going to take that right out of there, and then I'm going to offset those lines. I like a 30 and a light eighth opening, so 15.05, and then offset those points over there. For the back wall here, pretty simple to just connect those points through there. Again, I'm not super concerned about what's going on behind the stove there because I don't expect we're going to need a stove bar there. Um, but if we did need it, we still have the data there. I want to now stretch these lines to meet this line. So I want to select the object I want to stretch to. That's this front line here. Press enter. Click on this line and this line that's brought them through there. Uh, now on that function there, I want to, I want to trim those off. And to do that, I'll just use the break function here. We'll select the item I want to break. The first point is this point here, and the second point's right there. I've just deleted that off there. And now, again, I can connect this line here to the left, this one to the right. So that's all looking pretty good. I've got countertops here. If I want to add some dimensions on there for a quick visual check, pull up my tape measure and have a look at what that's looking like. You can see that my stove opening here is going to be... 13 and 8, just like we like. But what I'd like to do is ask the laser to show me some things. So if I click on Show CAD Point, 
hover over that corner there, the little square there, and then, uh, and then ask the unit to, to do that by clicking on it. We'll see the laser is going to go and project that point right in that corner. So right at the plane there, I can see the lasers split nicely over the three points there. I'm pretty confident that that's going to be very exact. And let's do that same thing with the other corner here. So we'll hover over the right here. Just watch what the laser's going to do here. And see it hover right over to the right there. So again, walking over here, I can see that that laser is deadly on there. Another extremely useful feature of this machine uh, is the ability to check the level of, of the cabinets. And that function is right here under distance point to plane. So if I select that, I'm going to measure a point over here. I'm going to measure a point over here. Just to see exactly how well level we are here, see how much shimming we need to do. A point over here. Point over here. Point over here. Point over here. And we'll take a point up in this back corner as well. Moving back to the software here, I'll confirm that. You can see my elevation map, including my high and my low points are on there. So from right to left, it's definitely sloping down. It's not very dramatic. So I'm pretty happy with how that's all looking. I know exactly what that's all going to be. Again, I can throw a couple more dimensions on here to make sure I'm confident with how everything's looking. Uh, if I want to, I can add some labels on here. For example, uh, free standing range. We put that right where we want uh, it, right in the center. We'll move it over. My center dividing line from the stove can go here. Uh, if I were to click show measurement points here and display photo points, I've now got all these purple spots here. So these are actually the measurements points that I've taken. So every time the laser measures a point, it takes one. If I were now to just hover over this point here, I can see right there, right away, I'm looking at a panel. I shot that right on the panel. It also shows me my measurement date and my measurement time that I clicked at. Uh, if I were to hover over this one here, I can see I'm right on the front of that cabinet. And just like that, we've got a countertop template and ready to go right, uh, right off from here to production.